Okay, we got knocked off on our last video. I hit the button. We were talking about uh, the milling table, replacing this compound rest with a milling table. If you've already got one of these wood lays, instead of buying one of these compound rest, I would look into an XY vise or a milling table, which is basically an XY vise, but it has a table, and it's about this height, maybe a little higher, and you can mount your tool post on here. Because this little baby right here comes with a rocker, the big washer, and the fancy little wrench. Those are selling for around $59 and up on eBay. You can get them cheaper sometimes. So, if you watch my last video, you can see this is the setup I've done. I hardly, I rarely use this. I could even pull this off. What I do use is my tail stock. This chuck I use most of the time. I'm going to start using my independent. And what you can do you can find these on sale. These are all used. And I think I bought five of these with a Morse tape or two. So they'll fit right into your tailstock. And now I have a, a drill. Just lock it in place. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this uh, for different tooling if you're using this for wood. Uh, eventually I'll be mounting a vise on here to lock special specialty tools in so this will lock in and once you lock it in place this allows you to go forward and backward and do different angles this turns but I have it locked in right now so if you have any questions email me like I say I got this this is Sentry Machine this was a, a, a 10 by 18. Now 10 inch would be what they want you to go here. So 5 inches here. You can do a 10 inch round by 18 inches long. And this all in all, this is a, a pretty good lay. It has a nice motor, 110 volt uh, motor. And it's really been a good lathe. But what I was going to tell you in my last video is if you want to go ahead and buy all this stuff, instead of doing that, if you want to get into metal turning, look at one of the uh, vintage Atlas or Craftsman lathes. At least 30, 40 years old. Okay? Until next time, this is Bob signing off.